In this video, we'll write the equation for CaNO3 2 plus H2O. That's calcium nitrate plus water. So calcium is a metal, and then N and O, those are nonmetals. Whenever we have a metal and nonmetal or nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and we have to look at the charge on each of the ions. So we go to the periodic table. Calcium's in group two, so it has a two plus charge. And then this NO3, that's called the nitrate ion. That's not on the periodic table. We looked that up on a table of polyatomic ions, and the nitrate ion here has a negative charge. And you can see I have two negative charges. Those will cancel out the plus two. And because I have this plus two, and then I have the two negatives, they're attracted to each other. They form that ionic bond. So I have solid calcium nitrate and liquid water. I put the solid in the liquid, and this ionic compound dissociates into its ions. So I have Ca2 plus plus the NO3 minus, the nitrate ion. But this two here tells me I have two nitrate ions. So I do need to put a coefficient of two in front of the NO3 minus. Because we put the solid into the liquid and it dissolved, we could say it dissolved in water. And to show that, we write Aq after the calcium. That means aqueous or dissolved in water. Do the same for the nitrates. And now since it is dissolved in water, each of these are dissolved in water, I don't have to write liquid water on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for calcium nitrate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.